Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to lift two pieces of 2x4, 8 foot long, up against the, the roof here so that we can clamp them to this top cord and get it as tight as possible so we can drill our pilot holes and make sure that everything is going to be nice and snug. The reason we're doing this is the connector plates come off this splice. The 8 foot 2x4, you're going to put a 4 foot line, one right in the center, and that's going to go here. You've got four feet this way and four feet this way. Give this the most strength that you can. In order to get the two by four up there, I made a small jig. It's just a couple pieces of two by three and a couple of, of brackets on it. The reason I did that is I can put this underneath my top cord, give myself a couple inches of space there and what this does is it gives me somewhere to rest my 2 by 4 so that I can get it temporarily close to where I want to and then I can put it in a final position with the help of something else. The secret to getting this length both accurate the first time and when you take the wood off you're going to put the glue on. You want it to go back in the exact same spot so that your holes line up uh, so you can drive your screws home. So what I've done is you'll see down here four feet down there is a small vise and that is just clamped on the wood. That acts as my stopper. So when I set the wood against that, it goes exactly where I want it to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another video. Uh, I'm going to put the adhesive on both sides of the old part of this truss here, the existing member, so that when I show you the steps, it's the same um, for jacking the piece of wood into place. Uh, before and after the glue, so I'm just going to do it once. So next video we're going to have the glue applied and I'm going to show you how to get the wood up and nice and tight before you put your screws in.